Greetings, minions! Lord Cracker Squirrel here, and this is part two of our games that we probably should have covered and haven't yet. So, this is Breach. Uh, we are operating on the assumption, we have been operating on the assumption that some of these games are going to be really kind of not great. Um, and for the most part, it looks like we've actually been correct. So, uh, Breach, the description here for Breached up here is, uh, Unveil the truth in a genre-blending sci-fi mystery. Awake, awaken from cryogenic slumber. You find your shelter damaged by unknown circumstances. Scavenge your surroundings, repair the shelter, and explore the ruins in hopes of uncovering, or perhaps avoiding, the uncomfortable truth about what has transpired. Well, okay. If you say so. Now, unlike some unlike some other games that we've covered recently, this one I've actually got a little bit of I've got a significant amount of playtime into at this point. And this particular this this group actually did go to some go to some trouble. Uh, and we actually managed to get 60 frames a second out of it, unlike uh, unlike the previous video. In which we only managed to get about three while working with XSplit, which means the other game should actually be able to do that and not create problems for me itself or anything else. As once again, we've completely overpowered the uh, we completely overpowered the thing. So we have. Of course, we have eight days, and we're only going to go through the first one just to give you an idea of how this game actually operates. Um, right now, it is seven bucks with uh, the original soundtrack and some bonus content, which includes a little comic, a little prequel comic book, and some other stuff that you might actually like. The Futurist Edition is the one I got, and I don't know. I can't find out right now what that bundle would cost you. Uh, not as much as the game and the DLC, though. I think it's only actually like a buck more. So, without further ado, I am the Lord of Crocus Squirrels, and I have lovely Kete with me here. Hello. And we're going to do some commentary. So, uh, let's just get this thing uh, haze gray and underway. And we will now take this out. We don't. What is it? Oh, it's not doing anything at the moment. Where is it? Oh, that one. Okay, that's it. I got the right one now. Haha. -ha. There we go. This next bit's going to look a little scary, and it's not. Focus point visualization. Ha huh. Feedback calibration. We're going to move the mouse around so that they know we're here. This game is operated entirely from the mouse. It does not require anything else. And that is the only question you're actually going to have to answer seriously. I'm going to go for 600 years because I want to live for freaking ever. I'll take nutrients over opiates. The little blinkies there to uh, let you know that we actually have things. They was critters or vacuum. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> now we're going to do it again because reasons. <laughs> <laughs> 
and that was it's, it's all scripted from here. No errors. Okay. Evaluate. That's a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Continuum, easy one. Okay. Apparently that was the correct answer. It has no eyes. Yes, I know. Okay. So we answered a couple of questions that we didn't actually answer, but that's okay. Damage detected in the Bosch Neiman oxygen generator. Okay. And we have eight days of reser uh, reserve. And then we're going to have to make some more fuel. What should require we go out, wander around, and do things? It's going to run us real quick through some tutorial stuff, and that will be the end of the first day. No point clicking on the deck. Just click there. Yep, there we go. The correct answer to your question is too many, apparently. Yeah, worried about time. We're worried about time, but we apparently I need to calm down. And now it's, yeah, send a drone, gather resources, fix the shelter. Okay. So be it. Now we can go over to that map thing. It takes me a second to get to it. We can't do anything else at this point. No, we cannot go back and check the, and check choices we haven't already made, or that we've already made. This this game is actually designed to be done several times, uh, but I'm not. I am not at this point so inclined. We only have a, there are only there's a very small amount of content here, believe it or not. And the first time I tried to cover this, uh, it shut my computer down. It my 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 potato overheated and it fried. So you go up here, you slow down with the mouse with the right mouse button. And it'll harvest things by itself. Click. You tried to play this previously on the potato? Yep, and I failed badly. It failed miserably. It's about the same time as I got back to the to the point to my entry point, I uh, well, yeah, shut it, it shut me down completely. So the game isn't actually optimized all that well. It actually pushed this card to get the 62 mm -hmm. frames a second I actually averaged over the over this over the course of this playthrough almost an hour's worth. Uh, 52 minutes and five seconds was the total length of this video. We're not gonna or the chunk of footage I took, and we're not gonna do it all. We're actually gonna wrap this up in just a minute or two. But the level design, we're actually gonna cover a little bit out of that level design thing. The level design for this is just absolutely painful. It is ridiculous. Just how rough and annoying that got. Um, a part of part of what you're going to have to find are pods. Little pods like that second thing I went for. Mm -hmm. And that got old in a hurry. Because, they're, because those pods are very few and far between. And you have no way to know exactly where they are unless you already know the map in some detail. And there are only, I think, four or five sections you can go to total for the whole game. Oh. Uh, I did find a look. I did find a spot where there was actually overhead maps for three sectors, not including this one. Okay. Uh. Found a capsule, seven samples of alpha mineral, and eight samples of the other thing. Let's go ahead and try and fix the generator, which we can't do because we don't have stuff. We know what we have to have, and hope like hell we can actually get it. 
Uh, we can't synth we can't synthesize it. We can't synthesize fuel yet. We don't have stuff. Okay. So there's a guild capsule. We can hack the capsule and pull it apart. And some of these are actually very. Some of those bits are going to be very hard to get to, especially with the thing with the kinds of things that can kill you in this place. Oh, good. Yeah, there, uh, there are electromagnetic anomalies that run that run around, and it's just, yeah, it's a serious pain. We now have a week. Okay, and now I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because I want to show you kind of the rest. That I want to, I want to show you kind of what the gameplay looks like here. That should be about right. Yeah, there we go. This is actually the this is actually the canyon stage, and this stage here is a major pain in the butt. I hope you like. Uh, I, I really hope you guys like pod racing because it's going to be very similar to that. That green thing over there is actually a one of the electromagnetic anomalies. And if I remember correctly, we're going to get chased by it. Oh no, not that one. It was another one later. You can outrun them, but if you get caught in them, it's, it might actually get difficult. That might be difficult to do. Um, there are areas where you can simply climb up the walls if you want to try it. But uh, most of your gameplay is going to be doing this kind of thing. Trying to find ways up onto, uh, up onto higher levels to see uh, at some fairly high speeds just to see if you can get to some place that where... You to find a thing that you're not finding now. <coughs> and that, in my opinion, was kind of unfortunate. I and mean, really, the only thing you have is a mouse for controls. There's no other... The, you have no need for anything else. You don't. No controller support is required. Only left and right button to accelerate and decelerate. And then operate menus while you're, on sh while you're in your shelter. And actually operating as quote unquote yourself, as opposed to being part of a, as opposed to guiding a drone around. And uh, you were on this planet. You what crash landed or what? No, apparently we were. Apparently our little buddy was stationed here, and oh. put into cryo, and then just wound up staying. Uh, we're gonna. All right. Let me show you the. Let me show you the anomalies here real quick. I want to click over. About there. Okay. At the, by the by the time we get to this point, I'm actually fairly well versed in in, in how to do the platforming. Here's actually a, going to be an example here in just a moment, because right now I'm checking my checking my uh, checking the area. To make sure that I can get from point A to point B at low speeds, so that I don't wind up jumping off the side of a, jumping off the side of a cliff. That's not the thing that's going to hurt this you. This artificial constructs uh, they they are just it. Well, it's what it is. It's a drone. What you're piloting is a drone that you're not actually yeah. that you're actively in control of. By remote control, and these drones can be destroyed rather quickly, but you can't do more than two of these sorties on any given day, because it takes 40% of your energy to do that. That was that energy bar that you saw on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. So you only had enough energy to do a couple, to do the one really big thing, and then you were pretty well screwed uh, on day one. But, uh, yeah, most of the game is exactly like this. I'm actually going to use this ramp here. I'm going to check it, see where I can go. And after after we do this little platformy bit here, I'm going to move forward to, to, a spot, to a time just before I expired. And there is a piece of gamma, uh, gamma material that I actually managed to get to. But those yellow ones, those are actually the worst of the EM disturbances 
anomalies, they call them, uh, that you can get mm -hmm. caught by. <coughs> Please note that this drone does not have a reverse gear. It's accelerate and decelerate. Okay, that's as far as I go. Now I'm going to turn it back around. Aim at the other side. And this is what this is this is your jump. You have nothing else. So basically you are interacting with the environment on a chase against the time in order to survive. Yep, pretty much. Uh, we don't actually get much more. We actually managed to I actually managed to make it over that. But uh, Now you're going to get to see what actually happens when you run afoul of one of those things. Okay, because that's what I'm actually looking to get to, and I'm not going to get there from here. I already know that for a fact. I just don't know how bad it's going to be. Turns out you can't actually get it up there from down below. It's just a real a royal pain in the tuckus. Um, where'd it go? Is it that spot? No, oh, it's right there. See, there's the anomaly. I'm actually right close to it. And you can see where it's actually starting to blur in spots over there towards the left. Mm -hmm. And that's because I'm actually coming into the area of effect for that object. Now I'm going to miss this jump entirely. And we've got just a little under a minute to go, or just a little over a minute. And we are actually being chased by that anomaly. We managed to outrun it. We got up there, boop, right in there. <laughs> That's the end of it. <coughs> Caused magnetic anomaly. At that point, I, this is already day four. I don't have any other way. I don't have enough energy over there on the right-hand side to finish the job. So I decided it wasn't actually worth it. Uh, it was not actually worth it at that point to do the thing. So I didn't do it. All right. Let me go ahead and kill that. And that. All right. So that is basic breach gameplay. Um designers do do that please if you're gonna do games like this at least have the common courtesy to give us something to work with I mean, you don't have to give us the whole planet but you've made this unnecessarily difficult and unless and it's really try all it's really doing is padding out the length Okay, but there are people that can handle this. It's extremely dull. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, unless you really like exploration games, I do usually, I didn't like this. This actually, this tried my patience for an hour. And I'm not, I'm not amused. I'm not in any way thrilled by this. <coughs> And the worst part of it is, you get the 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 last at the end of it. It's the ending Tron 3000. You have a couple of choices you can make as far as how to as as far as how to finish the game, uh, and that's pretty much the end of it. You don't actually have it, there. There's nothing more. Nothing you do during the game is actually going to get you what you need, where you need to be. So. Uh, that pretty much covers that. Uh, any comments from you, Kite? Yeah. Um, uh, I think that uh, I, um, in my opinion, I don't like this kind of environment uh, where you don't have much in terms of interaction. And what you mentioned that uh, about the ending 
that it boils down to choices that uh, that you're making essentially on the spot yeah and they are making on the spot and neither of them is uh, actually any perfect solution yeah and pretty much to go to go to eight days uh, chasing your own tail in a so uh, is that was so it's unnecessarily padded in dry the, uh, dry environment uh, with no interaction with anything anybody not even I, I would accept a zombie by now I don't know <laughs> oh, wow and you're the one that usually yells when zombies turn up okay so I think I'm yeah. at... all right then time for... well my minions it's time for us to sign off um, yeah be safe be sane and uh, take it away kitty yeah, let's make games fun again. Because that's not that some people some people will think this is fun. I don't. Let's try that again. <laughs>